Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to remove users from shared sites, files, and folders. Uh, let me first uh, explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about a use case where, let's say you have a SharePoint site, and maybe you shared it with a few people, and now you need to remove those users. Uh, another use case would be maybe you have a file or folder on the SharePoint site, and once again, maybe you invited somebody outside of your team, outside of your site, but then you need to uh, kind of uh, remove them uh, from those shared files and folders. So that's essentially the use case. Now, it is very important to understand what it is that you shared, because sometimes you can share a site, sometimes you can share the whole Microsoft 365 group. So let me explain how this all works. So in my case, I have this HR team site, and this is not a regular site, of course, right? It's a site connected to Microsoft Teams. And what that means is that the site is also connected to a Microsoft 365 group, which is essentially a membership group. So uh, scenario number one would be where you invited somebody into your a team site, uh, but you invited them into a Microsoft 365 group, which is exactly what I have here. So in my case, I have myself as the owner and Mary is the member. So that means that Mary has access to the team site, Mary has access to Microsoft Teams, Mary has access uh, to uh, plans and planner, uh, group calendar, and so on, because Mary is part of a Microsoft 365 group. So obviously in this case, if I want to remove Mary, then all I need to do is click the drop down next to her name and say remove from the group. And of course, what I just did now, I pretty much removed Mary from the whole group. So Mary lost access to pretty much everything um, that was associated with the group, Teams, Planner, Outlook, um, you know, group calendar, and obviously the team side. Uh, so that's uh, scenario number one. The second scenario would be where I maybe invited somebody into the site. So first of all, let's add Mary uh, back to our uh, group uh, site, all right, just like that. So Mary is the member again. But sometimes uh, you can actually share just the site, right? Uh, so uh, maybe I don't want somebody to have access to, you know, the whole group and all the other, uh, you know, and teams and all the other assets associated with the group maybe I invited somebody into the site. So if you invited somebody into the site directly, then you need to remove them. Obviously, they're not going to be here. You need to remove them from the site. To check that, click on gear icon, site permissions. Uh, it's very, very important to check this all the time. And let's expand all these three security groups. And look at this. I invited John at some point and I made him a visitor of my site. So John is not a member yeah, of the group. He doesn't have access to Teams or any other applications, but he does have read-only access to the site. So obviously in this case, I need to remove him from my site, just like that. Very, very, so it's very, very important for you to understand what it is that you shared. So that was the second scenario. The third and final scenario would be where you share the file or, fol or folder. And uh, the instructions are the same for both. So I'll just use the folder as an example. Um, I have this folder and some files inside. And I, uh, at some point, uh, you know, maybe myself, maybe somebody else on my team shared this folder with someone else, maybe outside of the team. And let's find out. Right click, manage access. And what you're going to see in the top portion of the pop up, uh, you know, essentially are any links that were generated. Um, you know, essentially for the users outside of this team, right? Essentially, this was the link. Apparently, I, you know, um, shared this particular folder externally with some user at gmail.com. And obviously, if I now want um, to eliminate them uh, from this folder, right? So they no longer have the link. They no longer have access to the folder. All you need to do is just pretty much, yeah, just delete the link, all right? Delete the link. And now, uh, all of the sudden, now all of the sudden, essentially, uh, they lost access. And again, the same uh, instructions apply to the file, right? So if you uh, if you share the file, just make sure to click Manage Access. And once again, you can uh, remove people or you know delete the link that way. So this were the three different scenarios. Once again, very, very important 
for you to understand what it is that you shared. Obviously, we don't have uh, this uh, particular issue, I guess, on the communication side, right? If you have a communication side, then you don't have a group attached. Uh, in case if it's a, just a communication side, then you just need to check site permissions. But if it's a, a team site, if it's a group connected site, very, very important to kind of check both places, you know, the group membership as well as the site permissions and essentially remove users um, you know this way all right so that's all i wanted uh, to share with you in this particular video hopefully you learned something new as always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my youtube channel thank you very much have a great rest of the day goodbye